Reef fishing with bait in Australia is a hugely popular pastime. And with a little bit of easy technique, a bit of know-how, we'll be catching him in no time. Hang around, see if we can get a rod bent. Catching fish on the reef is all about finding them first. Take your time to find some form of structure that comes up off the bottom, obstructs current, and holds those bait fish. When I'm looking for structure, I really want to see a bit of undulation on the bottom, some form of hard structure. I want to see bait there, but I also want to see signs of those hard fish, bigger fish sounding in amongst them. Once I've found that, position your boat in the best possible place to get to those fish, whether it's with an anchor or an eye pilot like on my boat, and you'll be catching them before long. 90% of the time when I'm reef fishing, I employ two different approaches, which allows me flexibility and cover options. The first is direct. I use a slightly heavier sinker and a Paternoster style rig. One big ball sinker sliding down to a single hook, and above it, half a metre to a metre, is a dropper rig. The other rod is rigged up with a slightly lighter sinker, simply sliding down to a hook. That allows me to float a bait out lightly, further away from the boat, this rig is used to target those fish immediately beneath the boat. In terms of the hooks that you use, use hooks that suit your bait. You can either use a gang contraption, the single hook like you've just seen, or the neat snelled approach, which allows you to put two hooks in a bait that are spread apart. Those rigs will cover so many options that you're gonna see on the reef. You're tackling fish on the reef, gotta be prepared to go fast, because you hook them close to home, they very often get back there. Oh, now that's a species always welcome in my boat. Commonly referred to as a sweet lip. It's actually a grassy emperor, one of the emperor species. Right up and down the coastline, particularly in the tropics, find a lot of these guys that battle very hard for their freedom and magnificent on the plate. One of our very popular bait fishing species. There's a huge variety of baits you can use when you're fishing the reef. Your fish baits, like your pilchards, your slimies, your yakkers, you can get your live baits down there. You can very often catch fish from the reef, like your hussar, get strips of those, strips of mullet, strips of pearlies. There's so many baits to use. The squid and the smaller baits, like your prawns, very often undo those priceless, tasty fish, like your parrots and your pearlies. When it comes to rigging baits, it's all about choosing the right hook size for the bait and making sure the hook is in the bait, but with enough gape to hook a fish. Let's very, very quickly look at how I rig my baits. Simple standard single hook rig, through the tail or the head of the bait, pull it through, out the other side, gape, and whether you're using snelled or ganged hook rigs, very similar approach applies. If you're using a your snelled hook, great option, hook the head of the bait, tail of the bait, just make sure it fits the bait and it's got gape. Using a two-handed approach to fish the reef today. A bit of burly in the water always helps get those predators closer to you. First, my lightly weighted rig. New moon, a little bit of a Lumo bead. Matches that glow in the water. There's a sneaky little trick for you. That goes out the back of the boat. Bail arm undone. And I let it gradually drift away. I will stop that when I think that bait is mid to lower part of the water column. Now this is the heavier rig. Slightly heavier sinker. Paternoster rig, squid on top. Pilch it on the bottom. And while that's doing its work out in the burly trail, very lightly weighted, I'm gonna get the heavier rig, put it on the bottom, and get it right down to those fish that are holding tight. The slack line will let me know when I'm on the bottom. The moment I'm on the bottom, I want to engage and start waiting to feel bites. Easy for me to feel bites on that and watch what's going on with that rod at the same time. It's a great way to cover a lot of options. Oh yes, that's what we wanted. Oh dear, oh dear, what do we got here? Very close to reef. That's the benefit of having your lightly weighted bait out the back. Just never know. What's well, gonna sneak up off the bottom a little bit and grab a, a more lightly weighted bait. Just does vary your approach, give you the benefit of a few extra fish in amongst the reef. Woo, got some adrenaline going now. Two outfits I use when I'm fishing like this. A heavy outfit is a 10 to 15 kilo, shorter style rod. And then I often match it up with a seven foot, six to 10 kilo rod, 30 pound braid, 30, 40 pound leader on this. A shorter, heavier rod is loaded with a, a 40 or 50 pound braid and typically a 60 pound leader. The critical skill when you're bait fishing the reef is to wait before you strike. I know it's hard when you get those first few bumps and taps and we're all eager to strike. It doesn't mean the fish has got the bait. You really have to wait for that rod to load up before you strike. If there's one thing you want to take away from this about how to get more fish on the reef, 
it's exactly that. It's how to wait for the bite and then strike. Have a look at that. One of the jewels of the reef. Woo! Beating the drum. Have a look at that. That's why we head out and fish the reef. You too, with a little bit of technique, finding your fish, thinking about how to approach them in the best way, getting those baits down to them, can be playing with a whole variety of reef species. What a magnificent, beautiful, beautiful species. <laughs>